Okay, I now would like to do the muscles of the arm. I'm going to start with this muscle up here on the shoulder. This one is called the deltoid. And the deltoid has its origin on the clavicle, the acromion process, and scapular spine. It inserts on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus, and its action is to abduct the arm. The next muscle I'd like to show you is this muscle called the biceps brachii. The biceps brachii has its origins on the coracoid process up here. Uh, the coracoid process is, of course, part of the scapula. And the supraglenoid tubercle, it inserts on the radial tuberosity and causes flexion at the elbow and supinates the arm. The next muscle I'd like to show you is on the posterior compartment of the brachium. So I'm going to rotate the cat into its prone position. And I'd like to show you the triceps brachii. The triceps brachii has its origin on the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and the posterior humerus. And it inserts on the alacranon process of the ulna. And its job is to extend the forearm. The next muscle I'd like to show you is the brachioradialis. The brachioradialis has its origin on the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus and inserts on the styloid process of the radius, and its job is to flex the forearm. If we follow the brachioradialis posteriorly, you'll see that it is coming out in between the triceps brachii and this muscle that is more anterior to it. This muscle here is the, brachio, is the brachialis. Its origin is on the distal anterior humerus and it inserts on the coronoid process of the ulna and its job is to flex the forearm. Again, I'm going to make sure you can see the presentation of the brachialis. Here is the triceps brachii. This is the deltoid that I'm reflecting away. I follow the brachioradialis back toward its origin, and you will see that it is separating the, brachio the brachialis from the triceps brachii.